Hey guys, welcome back to another new LP that I'm just starting. Um, so, I have already heard, um, I've already heard about this game. This is, it's called Your Turn to Die. I'm, I'm already understanding, it's, it's a, um, sort of Dankenrampa, um, Zero Escape hybrid. It's, it's a fan game, essentially, made, I think, an RPG maker, but it sounds like it's really well done. So, before I encounter too many spoilers on the internet, I, uh, I, I want to try it out for myself, so, so let's get going. Hmm? Hey. Hey. Hiya. Just a random question, but do you know what a majority vote is? Um, yeah, I guess. <laughs> no need to get mad. It's helpful to start conversations with an easy question. An interesting icebreaker, to say the least. Oh, looks like somebody's over there. Mr. Blue. I love majority votes. They represent the way democracy should be, following the will of the people. It's a method that minimalizes conflict. I hate the majority votes. They're just a way to silence the minority. It only makes more darkness build in the shadows. Hmm, sounds like they're having some tedious argument. Incidentally, whose opinion do you support? Mr. Blue's or Ms. Red's? Hmm... To be perfectly frank, I I tend I tend to side I would tend to go with Miss Red. Oh shit! Aw, he died. But good for you. Your opinion had more supporters. Still, that's not the uh, the outcome I was going for. With that experience, your sides learned the terror of a majority vote. Hmm? If that makes you happy, then don't you have to recognize the appeal of majority votes? Sure is complicated. Hmm? What's with that look? If you'd known the other person would die, you wouldn't have voted? Sheesh. That won't get you anywhere, okay? That's what the game's all about. You don't look pleased, huh? Alright, if you insist, let's hold a vote. Your opinion versus mine. Okay, then. Let's go. Oh, sh- What the hell? Uh... Huh? Um... Are we supposed to... I think... I did a test... This. Um. Yeah, that's what I thought. I'm pressing like ever. Oh, I have to actually. That's right. I have to actually click on the. How much of this? Maybe I do need to just use the mouse instead of the controller or the keyboard. Oh, I had a weird dream. My jaw is sore. So I was sleeping with my head on my desk. This late already? I have to go home. Better hurry. Huh? Oh. Hello. Whoa, it's gone completely dark. Touch spots that look interesting to investigate. Hmm. Sarah Ch Chudon? Hmm. Oh, dash off. 
Okay. The Campus Pond. There's a rumor that if you look into it at midnight, your reflection will talk to you. Could be a great thing to a loner. The lights are on. Maybe it's the guard. Thanks for your tireless service. Seeing the school like this, it feels totally different at night. Huh? The lights. I have to walk home when it's this dark. Okay, same thing. Um, can I click it again? No, lights are out. Um... Click on to... Oh, there we go. The front gate of the school. Can't go home without going through it. I don't want to leave yet. Oh, is there more we have to look at? Oh. I see you over there. What are you... Oh. Someone's there. What you doing, Sarah? Oh. Joe. Joe Tazuna, or rather Joe, my classmate at school. We often found ourselves together. You stuck around this late for clubs? I was gonna wither up from waiting. Well, it's fine. Listen, there's something I want to tell you. Something to tell me? My thanks. Thanks. For what, I wonder? Oh, you know, you introduced us, right? Me and Ryoko. Okay, this is... It's got some pretty, uh, pretty poppin' music. Just like, uh, again, just like, um... Danganronpa had a pretty, pretty sweet soundtrack, too. Right? She's such a good girl. I'm moved. Cute, huh? Adorable! I ate a donor kebab in one bite today. I'm a real glut. Donor kebab? What is that? A whole donor kebab. Wait, you want a date? <laughs> it was on it until just a second ago. I came back to school so I could brag about it to you. Great, thanks. You should've just gone home. Alright, bragging complete. Let's go home, Sarah. Okay, I guess we can... I guess we can go now. And then, Ryoko and I finally... How long even is this story? You listening? We made huge progress. This guy's such a pain. <laughs> Did you kiss or what? I can't, don't be stupid. Doing that on the first date? They call people like that monsters. We held hands. Outrageous progress, right? I mean, it was mostly that I fell in a ditch and she was helping me out, but for how gaudy you look, you're awfully shy. Gaudy this ain't. I'm hurt, man. That seriously gets to me. Damn it, maybe I should go back to a crew cut like in middle school. <laughs> and now he started moping. Uh. Can we look around? Oh, a poster warning to watch out for strangers. Stranger danger? Hmm. The, uh... Oh, a faint streetlight illuminates the area. I'm definitely getting the feeling this is gonna have some, uh... This is definitely gonna have some horror, uh, vibes to it. 
I've rarely ever walked home at this hour. It feels really dark. What's up? Want to hold hands? Lewd. I'm just kidding. Don't actually get mad at me. But real talk, wouldn't it help things if you got a boyfriend? Hmm? Can't sleep, right? Because you're stalker. Oh. Is that why you always go home with me? <laughs> Dummy, I, I just wanted to brag. Uh-huh. <laughs> For what, man? Well, if you just feel like being grateful, I won't stop you. <laughs> Alright, let's mosey along now. Your parents will be worried if you're late. Right. What's up with the stalker? Uh oh. Might get my answer. Hi. Oh shit. I... Joe, run! Huh? Oh fuck, what was that? <sighs> hmm. We made it home. And it's okay. Should be fine now that we're here. Joe. I'm relieved. If I'd gone home by myself. <laughs> that guy was staring. And it seemed like... He was trying to talk to me. Well, your parents are waiting, sir. Yeah. Hey, Joe. Yeah. See you tomorrow at school. Okay, I guess I'll go in. Huh? The house lights aren't on. Kinda looks like it is. Huh. The fancy lamp lights up the front porch. Oh, you mean the lights inside the house. So it's not a power outage. I can see the living room through the window. But the lights aren't on. The house nameplate. Uh, it's dark. Why aren't the lights on? And why is that plant knocked over? Mom? Dad? Are you not home? Plant's falling over. Something's weird about the house. The living room. Normally Mom would be in here watching TV and waiting for me. Over here's the bathroom. Back there's the door to my parents' room. The stairs to the second floor. My room's up there. Um, it's pitch black. This is bizarre. There can't be no one here. I'll turn on the lights. The light switch. I have a... I have a bad feeling... Um, hmm, what about anything else? Too dark to see, too dark to see, um, we have to turn it on. Okay, turning them on. Oh, sh- Mom? Mom! What is this? There's a key on the floor. Room key. Why is this here? Mom, hang in there. She's breathing. It looks like she fainted. Okay, no, no body's been discovered announcement yet. What do I do? What do I do? Wash bottle in its usual location. Fancy containers. Bookshelves, ranging from dad's complicated books to manga and magazines. They're not at all organized. A photo from a family trip to Hokkaido. Okay. The door of the hallway. Wall-mounted TV.
Oh, Sarah. What are you doing here? Go. Please help. My mom's collapsed. Stay calm. Did you call the hospital? The cops? Not yet. I, I need I need to call. I'll handle it. Listen, Sarah, you need to be calm. Huh? Joe started to make a call. What's he doing here and what is he... It's... Hmm. Weird. What am I doing? I'm all out of sorts. But I need to do something. Something. It's locked. Use the room key. The door opened. Dad? Dad, are you here? Mom collapsed. Dad, where are... What is that? Prologue. What is this? Uh, what the? Where is this, I wonder? Am I looking at the ceiling? Why am I sleeping here? I think I went home. Right, and then Mom... Mom! I quickly tried to sit up, but I couldn't. Is there something on my head? I fearfully touched my head. It was some kind of belt or a machine. Am I tied to it? It's like I'm being restrained. No way! What's the meaning of this? My temperature rose. Suddenly, fear awakened in me. N no, where is this? Somebody! I had no freedom to move. Besides my head, my left arm, torso, and legs also seemed to be restrained. All I could do is move my right arm. Someone. I was about to scream, then went quiet. The stalker. He harmed my mom. And he brought me here. I wonder, am I going to be killed? Sir, are you there? That voice. Huh? Joe, is that you? Are you next to me? Yeah, but I can't move. Can't you do something? Joe's in the same situation? Huh? Phone. Uh... Joe, is that yours ringing? Huh? You're right, something in my pockets. Here. Hello, whoever you are, help us! Beginning voice guidance. Huh? The first trial will now begin. Sarah and Joe, find the key hidden in this room. Then remove your restraints. If you cannot do so before the time limit expires, the device on the beds will activate, and your bodies will be crushed with a thud. Oh. By all means, please enjoy this thrill with all your body and soul. The time limit is a healthy five minutes. And note there's only one key, so please discuss who will use it. Ooh, you're gonna give us that sadistic choice, are you? Fuck. What the heck is this? The first trial. We'll die in five minutes? Well, well, what are we gonna do? There's no time to fret about that. I searched my pocket with my free hand, but found nothing. Joe, check your clothes. Yikes. When I took the phone from my pocket, I might have dropped something. No way. Pick it up. 
Got it. Grabbed it. It's the key. All right. Hurry and use that key. You sure? If I do, you'll... If that voice was telling the truth, I might die. But... Joe, I'm sure you can figure something out. Got it. I'll use it. Then I'll save you too, definitely. Damn it, that took some time. I need to save Sarah somehow. Sandpaper hangs from the ceiling. What use is this stupid thing? A green log. What should I do? The key seems too big to fit. This key, is it useless? There's a dial to enter a four digit number. Should I mess with this? Uh, I, I see it already. You see it right over here on the on the left. One three seven four. At least it's not um one one zero three seven. Did it just make a sound and that's it? Um Red key. Did a bit shave off at the end of the key? A bit of green is showing through at the scraped end. I get it. It was once a green key, and it's got red resin stuck to it. If I had something to scrape with, maybe I could revert it to the green key. Oh, I can whittle the key with this. I scraped off the red resin, and a thinner green key showed itself. It's unlocked. Really? I'll remove these now. Ah, thank you, Joe. Can you stand? There's a door here. Let's get out of here, Prano. Oh wait, Joe. Damn it, it's it's pitch black. I can't see a thing. Um, hmm. Left is a dead end. Seems we can only go right. I mean it, Sarah. Don't let us get separated. Right. We kept going straight ahead. But as far as we walked, we didn't see any light. It seemed to be a very, very long hallway. Or maybe we weren't advancing much at all. Joe, um, maybe use the phone for light? The phone you used earlier. Could you try using that to light the way? Nice one, Sarah. Man, you're smart. Did you bring it? Oh, I left it back there. <laughs> really? Guess that's that, then. Hmm, what can give us some light? We were searching ourselves when suddenly... Whoa, whoa, whoa! Shit. Wind blowing from underneath? My feet left the ground. Am I flying up? No, we're, we're falling? The floor gave way. How long? How high? How far are we falling? I feel my senses growing distant. Huh. Hey, get up. Oh. Hello? Can't sit there stupefied forever, miss. Huh? Where is this? 
Beats me. Oh. I'm alive. I'm not even hurt. Huh? People. Oh. Who the hell are you guys? Where even is this? Like, we got any idea ourselves. Calm down, lady. Is there no one here who can explain? Just what is going on? How troubling. They seem too distracted to take any notice of me. What in the world is happening? Hmm. What indeed. I guess, are we going to be introduced to our, uh, to our cast then? Some slightly calmer people are talking on the left. What's going on? Feels like we're trapped up in something outrageous. Yes, it would appear so. Huh. Have I seen this person somewhere? Oh. Uh -huh. Hey, nice, nice bucket. The girl squatting seems terribly frightened. Did something happen? There's two men keeping a watchful eye. And a terrified girl. That's no ordinary sort of fear. In the center, there's a discussion happening centered around a single man. Now hold on a second, we should confirm what each of us knows. That's all well and good, but I don't even know where this is! I had quite a terrible experience earlier, so I can't remain calm. <laughs> okay, you look like our... Oh, God. Are you like... You know who he looks like? He looks like a fusion of Nagito and Gunta. I, I don't know what to think about this. I do not know what to think about this. They seem pretty confused. Hmm? Joe! He's also wearing one of those collars. Hmm. Are, are they... Yeah, I, I kind of... I kind of noticed that, too. Are they like the bracelets in, uh, in 999? The ones that blow up if you, uh, if you break... They, they blow you up if you break the rules. A shiver I touched my own neck there was something yeah a collar yep I'll bet that's exactly it can't get it off everyone here had a collar put on them Right, I noticed an especially restless woman. Ugh, we've been abducted by some crazy assholes. Be quiet now, don't scream in my ear, woof. Hey now, fighting's no good. I can feel the tension in the air. There's even a great school age kid. Discussion still going on. Finally, my head was starting to clear. There are 11 people here, including myself. All of us are wearing collars. Why isn't Joe coming over to me? Has he not noticed I'm awake? <laughs> Run up and punch him. Joe! Good, so you're okay. Who are you? Oh, oh, we're gonna we're gonna run the amnesia angle too, are we? Okay, okay, I see ya. 
What kind of joke was that? What are you saying? I'm Sarah. Did you forget your own friend's face? Don't tell me. He's seriously saying he doesn't know me or something? Could you be the Sarah who's a terrible swimmer? Oh. Joe, this is the time for jokes. Are you... Was he dicking with us? My bad, my bad. <laughs> no, he was dicking with us. Asshole. Hmm. Joe and Sarah, huh? You two are friends? Huh? Yes, we are. Thanks for that. Joe here wasn't speaking up, see? Must have been wary of something. Wouldn't even tell me his name. <laughs> Alright, everybody, listen up. Bet we're all thinking the same thing. What is this place? Why was I brought here? And about all you know is who you are. What are you getting at, I wonder? How about we give introductions? Should ease the suspicion a little, at least. Introductions, you say? Not a whole lot else we can do. Am I right, sir? Hmm? You're asking me? Uh, yeah, let's, let's, let's do it. True, I want to clear up our situation. See? The calm ones know what to say. Okay, once once you're ready, it's introduction time. Just tell me when, Sarah. Oh. Um. Can we still... Two men keeping a watchful... Okay. Is it just the same, uh... I guess so. <laughs> Okie dokie. Oh. Okay. Uh... the hell? <clears throat> so then, I think we should all get to know each other a little more. No, so, Mom knows... Mom tells me not to give personal info to strange guys I don't know, Wolf. Stupendous! A level-headed child who does as his parents teach him. Yet this is indeed an emergency. Hmm. Then we must prove we're that we adults are not suspicious characters. <laughs> you know, super suspicious, woof! Nothing for it. Well, where should we start? Uh... Are you telling us to start with you? Hey, can you keep it s Hey, you can keep it simple. Name and occupation. Just take turns saying them. That's the ticket. Hmm? Got it. The wary ones can be for later. Raise your hand if you don't mind babbling. Hmm? Oh. Hello, I am Kazumi Mishima. I teach at a certain high school. <laughs> You're a teacher. Totally, uh... I get, like, what, what, like mad science or something? You're a school teacher, woof. The world's going to the dogs, meow. Boo-hoo-hoo-hoo. <laughs> Name's Riko Yubusame. I'm a singer, a songwriter. Oh, I think I've seen you in magazines. You're THE Riko Yabusame? Dude, is this the time? I'm sorry. I'm Kai Sato. I'm a rather unremarkable homemaker. What's with the stuff behind you? It's a frying pan and a ladle and a spatula. I didn't mean it like that. K Kotaro Burgerberg. I'm a baseball player. Second string, though. Oh, that's why you're so big. 193 centimeters and strong to boot, you hear? No one else wants to talk. Well then, Sarah, how about you try asking things to people you want to hear from? Me? Yep, unlike me, people aren't wary of you, right? Are they? I understand. 
I do want to question people, but I'm kind of worried about her. She she seems pretty ter she seems especially terrified. Yeah. I'll start with who I'm most concerned about. By touching extract and then speaking to someone, you can extract additional statements. Uh. <laughs> She's not in a condition to talk. Um. Hmm. C can we can we try to calm her down a little? Are you okay? Don't be afraid. I, I won't do anything. I gently place my hand on her trembling back. Ah! Thank you very much. Seems she calmed down a little. I'll try talking to her again. That's good. Still in no condition to talk. Did I not introduce myself? The name's Keiji Shi Shinogi. Working as a policeman. Oh. Oh, huh? police. You got it. So, don't trouble your friendly policeman. Well, not that I'm really that sort of cop. Then you should have mentioned that sooner. I got abducted in the middle of an investigation. It was tough to find a chance to spill it. Shouldn't have been wary. Damn it. What if we got caught by that criminal group? What criminal group? Group of petty thieves. I doubt they're related to this, honestly. Is your co-worker not here? Sure isn't. So it's not like everyone came in pairs. Interesting. Me and Sarah, high school classmates. Sarah was being harassed by a stalker, so I went home with her that day. Then there was an incident, so I called the police, but... I heard Sarah screaming, so I ran upstairs. And there stood that damn stalker. Y you saw him, then? That's the first I've heard of that. <laughs> Didn't have a chance to mention it. So I worked up all my courage to punch the guy. Of course, I'm awful at fighting, so since I don't remember winning, I guess I lost. That's why I know that Stalker's the culprit in this case. Interesting. Go on. Sorry, but that's all I got since I fainted. <laughs> then again, this isn't a stunt just one jerk Stalker could pull by himself. It's an organized crime, right, Mr. Cop? Could be. Wonder if there's one among us. <laughs> Already pulling this. The idea of a uh, of an insider, a collaborator with the culprit, playing the victim to blend in, <laughs> going right for it, huh? Hearing Joe say that, I understood why he'd been so weary and acting so strange. <laughs> What is it? You want to laugh? You can't say there isn't... You sure are funny. <laughs> I hate this guy. A collaborator with the culprit. Maybe there could be something like that. I'm Katara Burgerberg, baseball player. Yeah, I'm a ball player. If you work out too much and hurt yourself, you'll never hit the big leagues. Even among this bunch, this guy stands out. No kidding, what is it indeed? Grew up in a strange orphanage, so probably a mi it's a mix of a whole bunch. But it was in Japan, so that's my nationality. Parents left when I was little, though, and I don't know where I was born. 
Ain't nothing can't be fixed if you talk it out. Incidentally, I believe baseball has positions. I'm a pitcher, confident in my batting too, and I was lucky enough to go to Central League. I don't really follow, but does that mean you're good at both throwing the ball and hitting it with the bat? Well, yeah, that's right. Now that you mention it, you, you kind of look like, you do kind of look like Leon, just, um, just a bit more ripped. I don't know baseball either, but he seems pretty proud of his strength. I was happy after a long and a long coming comeback game, so I went drinking, then I don't remember a thing. Then when I wake up, I got a collar in this place. Like I'm a dog or something. Such a bummer. Can't believe I can't get this thing off. Even his strength can't remove it. Reiko Yabusame. I'm a singer-songwriter. Just like the gaudy guy said, my band's made enough of a name to get into magazines. Don't call me the gaudy guy! We finally made it to the starting line. The whole future stretched ahead of us. Um, is that makeup for performances? Like hell, the fans would weep if I went on stage looking this plain. That's plain? I finish a new track, so I had plans to meet with my bandmates, and then this shit happens. Session, I guess. Naturally, all my stuff's gone. My precious bongos, my phone, my wig, it's all gone. Bongos? Okay, that was that was the one of the last instruments I would have expected you to be playing. Goddamn kidnapper, if you throw out my stuff, I'm gonna beat your ass so hard. Is now the time to worry about belongings? Some of that stuff's as important as my life. I'm sorry. All of her stuff was taken, huh? I'm Kai Sato, a rather unremarkable homemaker. My best meal is Eggs Benedict. Chef, huh? No, not a chef, but a homemaker, akin to a house husband. Same difference if you both make tasty food. I suppose so. I feel like I've met this person somewhere. Oh? Oh, the frying pan and whatnot. They were in a room I was in earlier. So you got them after arriving here? Yes, that's correct. I felt they could offer protection. Ah. It didn't even occur to me. Would you like to use one? Hmm? For protection? Yes, I'll offer anything but the frying pan. Then I'll pass. Yeah, I don't I don't know how much uh how much protection a ladle or ladle or a spatula is gonna make. I felt like I'd met him somewhere, but talking to him it doesn't feel that way at all. Hmm. Could this hmm. No, I I don't want to get too far ahead. Is it just my imagination? Perhaps I should discard my cookware. But it could be useful for something. At the least, I'll bet I could make Eggs Benedict. Yeah, I remember if I met such a weirdo. <laughs> I'm I'm Kazumi Mishima. I teach at a certain high school. <laughs> Incidentally, I teach Japanese and art. <laughs> oh, school teacher. Can't picture it. Indeed, I hear that often. I've got no right to say it, but you're suspicious from every angle. You truly don't have any right to say that. Apologize to the professor, please. Oh, now, what's this little miss? Pardon, you see, she's a former student of mine. Please forgive her. Oh, you two know each other, then. He's a really good teacher. Please don't judge a book by its cover. <laughs> I suppose my appearance is shady, after all. How shocking! Well, don't have much else to judge on. Don't, mu don't know much about you either, little miss. 
I'll introduce myself. There's nothing guilty about us. Excuse me. It's time to cool down, yes. Should I ask Professor Mishima something? Um... Memories before arriving? It was a joyous day. My students wished to be taught oil painting, so I held a lesson at my secret... Atelier. Everyone loves the professor. I drove everyone home as well, and while heading for the last house, there was a security checkpoint. After being stopped there, it seems I lost consciousness. When I awoke, the first trial began. First... We emerged safe thanks to our combined wits, saved by my own student. Oh, so you guys had one of those... So you guys did have to go through one of those trials as well. Did, did everyone else... Did everyone else here have to as well? The first trial. Can I, can I ask him about that? I guess not. But, um... Before we get too much further into this, I'm gonna... I'm gonna cut it here and, um... And we'll pick up again uh, on this next time. This, this is already intriguing. But I'll see you guys then. I'm playing a game!